This morning's Mass is being offered for Father Francis Kiddock. Our entrance antiphon, O God, o, o chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, by the practice of good works, that, trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold ever fast to the Paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high, the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. For king of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise, God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth, he is supreme. God is king of all the earth. Cleanse my heart, bless my God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear in the Acts of the Apostles 
the gathering of the community and the importance of this community. So Apollos, <clears throat> excuse me, Apollos is a um, native of Alexandria, a Jew, great speaker. He's already saying, you know, I understand this Jesus figure, but I don't fully get it. I don't fully know how to be a part of it. And it's not until Apollos meets the community. It's not until he meets um, Priscilla and Aquila that he's like, oh, so I understand this, but I can actually be a part of it and I can actually live for Jesus. So there's some peace missing that he found in the community. He found a deeper um, connection to our Lord through the community of the Christians. So just the importance of community. So if people are wondering, well, why, do the, <clears throat> why are the bishops so in insistent on the church is being open. A big part of it, well, principally, it's so we can more easily and more readily uh, offer the sacraments of the Eucharist. But also, the importance of community, the importance of being built up by one, a healthy community is not focused on itself. A healthy community of St. Stephen's wouldn't just say, I love my St. Stephen's family, and stop there. A healthy community would say, wow, because of my St. Stephen's family, I'm able more to enter into the life of Christ. Because I'm with my St. Stephen's family, I'm encouraged to follow our Lord. I'm encouraged to, to pray, to fast, to do penance, to offer alms, to uh, reach out a hand to the needy. Because of this community, that is, uh, this community is a big uh, the idea of community is a big part of Christianity. We've never lived our life in isolation. We've never lived our relationship with Christ apart from the community. It's from the very beginning. This idea that I can just love Jesus um, alone in my house is not scriptural and is not historical. It's the importance of community. I know, um, I wouldn't say a lot, but I know enough people, um, even in our parish, that... They go home, and it's difficult to live their faith in their homes, either for husband, wife, children, whatever it is. They don't feel supported. But they come to this church, and they feel that warmth, and they feel that, that freedom to express their religion and to live their religion and to be built up. That's a beautiful thing. And so I'm excited that hopefully, um, I don't know what that was. It's raining, and I don't know. This building moves a lot. Um, anyway, um, so I'm excited that hopefully we can, we can open up these churches soon um, to establish that community, to re-ground <clears throat> re ourselves in Christ in this community. It's very important. The purpose of this community is just like what Apollos um, experienced, is to reach out and say, hey, did you realize that there is more? Let's go there and let's go to Jesus together. And turning now to our Father in prayers, we present him these our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for our Archbishop Bernard Hebda and all bishops of the church. We pray that they may be bold and stand up uh, to provide us the freedom to worship the one true God, Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the conversion and healing of all elected officials, that they may know the love of Christ. That Jesus may that the love their love of Jesus may inspire all their lawmaking decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, those who are suffering, and those who feel most alone and abandoned. We pray in particular for those suffering with COVID nineteen, the dramatic effects of that disease, and we pray for um, all those sheltered in place, either a nursing home or at home, who feel this isolation more deeply in this time that they may know the nearness of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for um, an increase of vocations of the priesthood, religious life, and diaconate. In a particular way, we pray for Bill Duffert and all those who will be ordained deacons today, that they may be open to all the good things that the Lord wishes to pour into their hearts uh, today and in this ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and those who will die today that they may sleep in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your children, those spoken and those that we hold in the silence of our hearts. 
Please answer them all according to your will, for we make them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. <clears throat> I embrace you as if you were already there, and <clears throat> unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.